What's going on Aries? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a reading on career, money, and life purpose from now until the end of August 2023. So in this reading, Aries, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming, and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides and so much more regarding your career, money, and life purpose situation from now until the end of August 2023. So before we begin this reading, Aries, as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading. And I really do appreciate you, Aries, in advance for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, definitely smash that like button. Subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. I would also really appreciate that over here, Aries. But without further ado, let's go ahead and pull the energy and see what wants to come through for you for your career, money, and life purpose situation from now until the end of August 2023, Aries. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Aries. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh my god. Why do I feel like it's those? Fun? Let's see what we got here for you, Aries. Really interesting stuff that you got going on here, Aries. Um, <clears throat> looks like you're going to be, for some of you, you're going to be dealing with a pretty challenging career, money, or life purpose situation here. Before we get into the tarot, let's start this reading off with some pre-shuffled custom oracle cards. And in these cards uh, that I'm about to show you, this is going to be the energy that you're meant to embody from a higher perspective that will get you far, that will move you forward in your career, money, and life purpose. So the first energy you need to embody that will get you ahead, Aries specifically, is play on people's emotional need to believe. Play on people's emotional need to believe. Um, there's really nothing more infectious than someone who really believes in a cause. And it doesn't mean you have to be on the top of the world. You know, some of the most beautiful things is, is witnessing someone who is struggling, but they really believe something. That's called charisma. That's called courage. And people love that. So what I get from this right off the bat, Aries, is whatever you believe in your heart about the world, about the changes you want to see in the world, whatever you believe, maybe, for, you know, for example, for me, it's like, I really believe in these universal principles, the law of attraction. It's worked for me. I don't even believe it. I know it, it exists. And from a certain perspective, I've played on people's need to believe in something, even on this channel, just by me sharing what I really believe in. Because the, the truth is right now, Aries, is many of you are walking around and like, oh my God, it's going to be so hard to, you know, get my boss to believe in me. It's going to be so difficult to get people to believe in my cause, but nothing could be further from the truth when you realize that we are in basically a golden age of information where most people are lost. So if you can give them some guidance by providing them with what's inside of you and what's really inside of you, then that's what's going to get you far. Now, be careful that you don't play on people's emotional need to believe by telling them something false that's not really there, because then that energy will come back to you eventually to bite you. So if you show, if you play on people's emotional need to believe just by sharing what you're about, that's what's going to get you far, because... That's something that I had to go through, like thinking that, oh my God, it's going to be so hard to, to get people to believe. No, all you need to do is believe yourself. And then it's called the law of state transference. Like I can only give you like the feelings that I give you in this, in these readings are only something that I experience like that I believe. So it's like a state, 
you can transfer your positive emotions. So whether this is you're working somewhere, like getting your, your boss to believe in you, getting your clients to believe in you, getting your fans to believe in you, the only thing you need to do that is really put it out there for the world to see. Because most people believe in things, but they don't put it out there. They don't speak it. They don't take actions on it. And whatever's in your heart, I know that you have a strong belief. You need to bring that out into your career and it will get you further, okay? Now, the second thing that you have here that you need to embody from now until the end of August is actually use the surrender tactic, Aries. Use the surrender tactic. And in some sort of way, this does show you that you will be dealing with someone or something that for now is more dominant than you. Maybe they have more knowledge. Maybe they're ahead of you. Maybe they're more strong than you. And the basic idea of this law, many people have emotional resistance to it, but I'm it's here, so I'm gonna lay it out for you. Let's say that you're in a fist fight, uh, or let's say you're in like um, like a cage fight, because Aries usually doesn't have a problem with fighting, or at least the idea of it isn't like a complete turn off, like other signs, so I could talk about this. Let's say you're in a fight, you're really getting beat up, and um, you're taking a lot of damage in the fight, like a real fist fight, you're taking so much damage. Sometimes your pride will tell you, I have to keep fighting, I can't quit, because if I quit, you know, I'm a little wussy and people will judge me. The truth is though, if you surrender when you're weaker, you can live on to fight another day. Whereas if you fight a battle that you know you're going to lose, you're going to waste emotional capital and you're not going to be as, you're not going to have an ability to turn around. You're not going to have an ability to recover and plan and plot another day. So the people who are just like, no, I'm in here pride. I got my pride on the line. That seems what it's going to be happening in a career sense for you. Pride getting in the way where you're going to want to fight. You're going to want to, um, what I'm sensing from this is you're going to want to argue, fight with people about something. But when you're in a subordinate position, maybe this is with a boss at work, use the surrender tactic so that you can live on to fight another day. And it's a really strong thing coming through. Some of you that work somewhere or some of you that no matter what you do for money, you know, this could have to do with a manager, a boss, or even your own clients if you own something. Um, Aries, there's something here about like, let's say your boss is like, just like really mean to you. Instead of fighting fire with fire, you need to fight fire with water from now until the end of August. So like, let's say that your boss is just complete, very nasty, obnoxious to you, but they're in the position of power. What you do is you surrender, you take it on the chin and you say, okay, you, you, you suppress your fire for a little bit because then what you do is you take your time and you plot how am I gonna get back at this guy? I'm not gonna get back at them right now by just like, fighting fire with fire because their fire is more fiery than you right now. But if, what you can do is you can wait, surrender, go into a dark room, plot your revenge, and then be like, they should have killed me when they had the chance because now I'm back and I'm going to kill you and your whole fucking algorithm or something like, or your, you know what I mean? Something like that. And um, sometimes I'm too raw for my own good, but I'll give you a, an example about how this has been manifesting in my own life. Use the surrender tactic. Right now I'm completely obsessed with astrology. Um, and I'm in many groups like online zoom calls and everything where I learn from people who really know what they're doing when it comes to astrology. But from a certain perspective in my own career with astrology, like I've been using the surrender tactic because, um, you know, a big part of me as an Aries, like I'm just looking around, like I just research like, okay, YouTube astrologers, um, who are the best astrologers in the world right now? And when I honestly look at it, I'm just like, these people are slow, stiff, they're stuck in the mud. Like these people, like, like I'm going to do astrology so different and I'm going to like basically just blow everyone out of the water because they're all just like stuck in the mud. And um, instead of going into a Zoom call and like basically asserting myself as like, you're all stuck in the mud. I'm going to, I'm going to butcher your algorithm. You all suck. You, I've been doing astrology for two months. I'm better than you. You've been doing it for 10 years. That's how I really feel. But am I going to go on a Zoom call and say that? No. I'm going to use the surrender tactic. I'm going to let people think I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to let people think that they're in the master. And from a certain perspective, they actually are. So there's nuance here, right? Like I'm not actually like some sort of egomaniac, but I actually am too. And that also is play on people's emotional need to believe because I really believe in myself and I know you can feel that. Or I believe that I know astro I know I'm gonna be a whoop any other astrologer. I don't, I don't see anyone that is gonna give me issues. And now this gets competitive, and it is what it is. I don't. Give, I, I'm just raw. I'm just. I can't be fake. Okay, I'm autistic. Okay. Now, um, 
the last and please apply this to your own life right because the analogies will help you but um the last law that you're meant to use that's going to get you ahead in your money career and life purpose situation is uh law 30 when you try hard you die hard and this is really being this is actually a law or an energy of definitely keep it cool and don't be trying don't let people think that you're working so hard right like um what this is about aries is sometimes like at least from now until the end of august in your life specifically there's something here about people are more mesmer mesmerized by natural talent than they are hard work like when you look at a storm outside when you look at like a thunder like look at a volcano like look at nature it's just raw it it is what it is it's so beautiful because it's natural the, the 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 sky doesn't have to be like oh i work imagine you were watching a beautiful lightning show like a, a thunderstorm and all of a sudden in the middle of the thunderstorm like a big cloud like a personified big cloud had a face and was like hey i know you're enjoying this storm but just know that i worked really hard to make this storm this was not easy i i worked every day of my life to give this storm to you you might just be like that's cool, but I kind of just liked it when it was natural and I didn't know that. So when you try hard, you died hard. This is about, um, from a psychological perspective, people are more attracted to natural talent than they are hard work. And from a certain perspective, I believe that that's why I'm very successful because I'm just naturally talented at this. I've, of course, worked hard. But even with the astrology example, like people have been working 10 years, I've been doing it two months, I already know that they're they're stuck in the mud. I'm a natural. And that's why people love me. And that's why people love you. But it's not even like this ego thing. It's like literally like I'm here to do astrology. I'm here to do tarot. If I tried to apply these things to another field, it wouldn't work. So you have to know what you're good at and then apply it to that. Your life purpose, your career, you have to have some sort of direction. Because if you have no idea what you're doing, then this may actually not work for you. There is a time and place to work really hard. But for you, what the energy reads from now until the end of August is that you're better off um, if you're trying to apply somewhere, if you're trying to land a client, let them believe that you're just all natural talent instead of working hard. Okay? Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, because people, like, when you say, oh, I worked so hard for this, it just it just raises questions. So like, why are you working so hard? Maybe you're not that good. Now, Am I against hard work? No, I am an app. I work harder than probably anyone for real, like when it comes to spirituality, but I love it. So it doesn't feel like work, but I don't say I'm not like, oh, I just work. So the only reason I'm comp like, okay, you want me to just be totally raw? Some of you are going to hate me for this. I really don't care. I'm not like the type that's like, yo, like the reason you should listen to me is because I work so hard. No, the truth is it's just I'm naturally talented at this. You can, if you're not if you have not had past lives as a spiritual teacher and all this shit, you can you can work every day of your life on spirituality. I will still whoop you in it. Now, if it's another thing, no, it's not the case at all. So if you're being offended by this, then what you need to do is tap into what is your natural area that you can do what I'm doing, because you can. But if you have all these moral judgments against what I'm saying, well, it's going to be tough for you, and you're going to get smacked. Okay, so... I like doing these business readings for Aries. Oh, God. Okay. So when it comes to the tarot, so keep those in mind. When it comes to the tarot, your opportunity for um, now until the end of August with money, life, purpose, and career is the Wheel of Fortune. You have a major opportunity here, Aries. This is also to do with your destiny. There, I am getting that there's some sort of thing that your soul wanted to do. Like for me, it's tarot and astrology. Like I, That's what I came here to do. I was put here on the earth to do it. And that's also playing on people's need to believe because that's what I believe. It is what it is. So law of state transference. There's something about that with you. The wheel of fortune has to do with the wheel of your fate starting to spin. For some of you, there is going to be something here about a destined um, relationship with someone you're meant to work with. I'm getting that very strongly. A lot of you, you don't see it coming. For a lot of you, there could be some sort of ending in love that will shift up your career. For some of you, there's something about a love like someone you're dating or something to do with like a loved one that changes that then opens up your career for a lot of you. We're going to have to see why the Wheel of Fortune is your opportunity when we clarify. But what I get from this Aries is there's a major opportunity to really make more money, 
And especially if you start applying some of these laws that I'm telling you, it will get you even further. So don't sleep on this month. Like even though I'm saying like when you try hard, you die hard. Like don't let people think you're working so hard. Just because you th let people think you're not working hard doesn't mean that you shouldn't work hard, right? And some of you are highly offended by this and you're, you're saying it's so manipulative. I don't really give a jack because once again, you know that I'm two levels above you, baby. No, okay. okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, all right. I'm actually so obnoxious in this reading. What's going on? All right, I'm sorry. Okay, the um, your opportunity is the wheel of fortune. So there could be some sort of destined soul contract with someone you're meant to work with. This could actually be a mentor coming into your life or something. Um, we're going to have to see why in a moment. But um, when it comes to your challenge, you have the moon here. The moon card has to do with uncertainty, mystery, the subconscious mind, the feminine. Um, you know, there could be a lot of, um, you know, mysterious developments in your life, especially when it comes to um, someone that you're going to have to use a surrender tactic to. For a lot of you, once again, this is going to be a boss at work. This is going to be someone who is superior to you when it comes to money, life, purpose, or career. And you have to honor that. Like the reason why I do so well in this matrix is because like, on the one hand, I have this like unshakable belief in myself. On the other hand, I honor hierarchies and I understand that people know more than me and I have to humble myself to learn from them, but it's nuanced, right? But what I'm saying is like there's some sort of um, sketchy situation at work where emotions can be tied up to this as well. Some of you are really being called to let go of something that you really love, but it's holding you back. It's not expanding you. The reason I'm saying this is this. When it comes to your overall general energy Aries, when it comes to um, career, money, and life purpose from now until the end of August... Um, you have the two of swords, the seven of swords and the knight of cups. So for many of you, what I'm getting is there is going to be a complication in your love life that forces you into a career change, especially if you have joint finances with, um, a family member, a really good friend, or, or just someone trusted confidant. There could be things going on behind your back that you really don't want to look at. You don't want to admit to something. The two of swords is about actually being in denial. For some reason, it's coming through as being in denial. The Seven of Swords is about scheming, deception, trying to, you know, steal some swords away from a camp so they can't be used against you, or just stealing swords from people so they can't use them against you, or it's just really deceptive behavior. The Knight of Cups has to do with romance, love, idealizing something. And so, with this being here, um, there's definitely some sort of sketchy sketchy thing tied up to your emotions when it comes to your career. We're going to have to clarify what it is. I'd be really careful that because it looks like there's a split here to me. Because when you see the Knight of Cups and you see the Seven of Swords, like they're, see how they're splitting up? They're going in two opposite directions here. You may actually start to lose passion for something, um, for some of you, but it gets better when it comes to what you don't see coming. So that's your overall general energy. I do feel like things will pick up. Um, right now, I feel like you're a little bit confused. But when it comes, because I read chronologically, and this is the last card in the overall general energy. So by the end of August, by like mid-August, the end of August, you are going to have an idealization. You are going to have some sort of um, positive emotional experience when it comes to money, career, life purpose. But at first, you're going to have to go through something. And I do feel like it's very related to the surrender tactic. I'm not sure why. Someone controlling your money, a boss at work, like there's a very tricky situation you need to get through with money. Okay, so... Uh, it could also be just being very practical. Something you, what I'm getting for some of you now is like you're dealing with something you really don't want to deal with it, you know, but you have to. Um, but anyway, when it comes to what you don't see coming, it gets way better. You have the world, you have the three of pentacles, and you also have the two of wands here. So I do feel like a big phase of your career, first of all, is coming to an end and you're meant to upgrade something very big. Um, you know, like just to give you that example of me, like for the longest time, I thought I was only going to do tarot or like maybe do channeling or like never in a million years would I think I was going to do astrology. But um, there's an upgrade to my career where now I'm learning about astrology, right? And taming down my ego, etc. <laughs> um, so for you, I, I, I feel like you're going to be learning from someone very key in your life and it's going to lead to you to a new beginning when it comes to your money. So this is all about learning a skill, being humble enough, but then also plotting your future and having big dreams, right? The two of wands you have the whole world in the palm of your hands and what you don't see coming, but there is a choice that needs to be made here because the two of wands, this could have, have to do with partnership as well. The number two has to do with partnership. So do I work with this person, a risky option, or the safe one behind me here? So actually what I get from this is many of you won't be pushed out of something. You actually won't. Um, what I get from this very strongly, Aries, is this. 
there needs to be a choice about your career for whatever you have going on. I actually don't see it coming to an end unless you voluntarily end it. And um, this could have to do with that surrender tactic. For some of you, there's going to be a very messed up situation where you feel like, oh my God, I trusted this person. I can't believe that I got schemed, right? This is your overall general. I cannot believe that this happened. And when that time comes, maybe it's time for you to use a surrender tactic and be like, just back out of it. Like someone schemed you instead of trying to fight fire with wire, fight fire with fire, curse them out, like go at them, just surrender, say, I'm done. I'm pulling my money out. See ya. And then just build up slowly and like beat them in the long run rather than wasting your emotional capital on some sort of fight. And cause karma will, you never have to like restore justice for anyone because the universe will do that. So it's like if someone's, cause there is a potential of someone really screwing you over here, especially when it relates to like something that you once loved. Now, some of you, I'm also getting that there could be something that happens where you like randomly lose passion for what you do. Like, seri like even as you're listening to this right now, there could be something that you used to be very passionate that you lose the passion for it, but you don't want to admit that you lost it. So that's also going on here, what I see. And so, but, but and then it's like, you don't really, the moon here in your challenge is very, and, but then the wheel of fortune is in your opportunity. So I do feel like there's whoever you're going to, hmm. I don't know. And then when it comes to your advice, Aries, you have the four of swords, you have the nine of cups, and you have the ace of pentacles here. Um, spirit is clearly saying you need to do something that is going to feel very good to you. The ace of pentacles is about a new beginning in the physical world. The nine of cups is all about synchronicity and you feeling good for yourself. So there is something here about you putting yourself first. This is what's the nine of cups for me is the card of putting yourself first. You don't see anyone else on this card, right? Um, and sometimes putting yourself first is saying, Hey, like, I know you've been my business coach. I know you've been my boss. I know you've been my business partner, but you know what? I need to move in a different direction and let's create a situation that works for both of us so that we can move away. Now for others of you, I'm actually getting this. What I'm almost getting is that when you pull your energy back from some sort of situation with money, life purpose or career, someone could actually be very mad at you, right? Cause cause the advice here is not really to work with the same person that you've been working with. The Four of Swords is about taking time out for yourself to heal. So some of you here, there is something about learning something in the background. I'm getting that. You may not have all the wild, um, you may not have the wild financial success from now to the end of August. It looks here to me like there's more of um, a breakdown than renewal. Like when we look at the cycle of people's lives, it usually is either decay or renewal and in some sort of way you have both but it's more so something is decaying here and there could be an unfoldment here that really is going to tempt you to spaz out to fight fire with fire but i'm telling you you're being called to use a surrender track tactic and on top of the surrender tactic you, you have um when you try hard that's when you die hard so there's really something about you know four of swords two of wands you know like really taking time out for yourself to think about what just happened or to think about what is happening. So don't be afraid to don't, don't, I, I'm actually being called to say, don't push yourself too hard. I hope you're listening from now until the end of August. It's really about instead of fighting with the external world, you're meant to really believe in something here, right? Knight of cups is all about viewing the world in a beautiful way, idealizing, like view, viewing your life as, as, as if it's a big movie. Right. And, and there's something about here, you taking your time. Okay. Like there's no rush is what I'm getting from now until the end of August. There's some sort of like decay. It may not fully decay, but it's like a chain. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start clarifying uh, these energies and really get into the reading. So the first card that we're going to clarify is the wheel of fortune. Why well, is the wheel of fortune here for you Aries in your opportunity? Will of Fortune and your opportunities clarified by the devil and the three of wands here. Yeah, I'm telling you, Aries here, um, it's literally, it's literally use the surrender tactic and wait, wait out something toxic here, Aries. In your opportunity, you have the devil and you have the three of wands. This could really be you being very observant, very observant about something. This is your opportunity, Aries. I do feel like whoever you're currently 
or however you're approaching money. If this is not to do with you and another person, then it could be that you're scheming yourself here. And this is you really taking a step back and observing your own toxicity when it comes to money, career, and life purpose. Part of this for some of you definitely has to do with um, this card play on people's emotional need to believe. And this is you really looking at like, you know that deep in your heart you believe in something, but maybe it's very, it's very challenging for you to actually like fully believe it, you know? So there's something, I just feel like your challenge is the moon that has to do with the subconscious mind, like letting things marinate into the unconscious. So your opportunity is to definitely spot toxicity. And once again, in your opportunity, what did I just tell you? It's about playing the long game, waiting, not taking too much action, buffing out the scratches. Because if you're waiting and you're kind of doing this inner game, maybe you're learning a new skill, maybe you're looking at how your toxic beliefs are, you may look to the outside world and see people passing you. Like another sign, I'm like, yo, take action. You might be like, damn, like they're going ahead of me. But at the end of the day, when you do the inner work and no one and other people are just externally focused, when you finally go into the outside, external after doing the internal work it'll just be like you just blow by people so there's some sort of very deep shadow work that you're doing but for some of you this is happening externally and you're going to know who you are if that's the case you know if you're dealing with someone who's scheming you because that i mean seven of swords two of swords for a lot wow for those of you who are dating someone or married to some i'm sorry for the for some of because sometimes i get these things and i'm like am i really going to publicly do this to these people. Cause I know a lot of your reactions when I say certain things, you're like, how the hell? Like, oh my God, like this is embarrassing. He, he's embarrassing me up there. Don't play this in your family. Don't, it's, okay. What I'm trying to tell you is this. Um, your lover may be hiding money from you. Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords, Two of Swords, and you don't want to look at it. If your partner controls the money or if maybe roles are reversed, you control your, there's something about for those of you in a love situation, if you're in a committed partnership, some sort of relationship, like a love thing, intimate, like sexual relationship, there's something about someone, there could be a very big disagreement here about money and it really could separate you and cause you to move in a different direction and maybe that's what needs to happen because once again, your opportunity is to spot the devil here, right? This is your opportunity. For a lot of you, this could be calling you to be more celibate as well, you know, like waiting, observing your lust, observing it instead of acting on it, just really like when you have the desire to just like escape your money, life purpose and career situation, you just want to go and be like an Aries Ram, like who can I Ram today? Bang, 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 like in a sexual way. Instead of doing that, just like, like just hold on to it and wait it out. Cause there's something here about you not fighting fire. If you try to fight fire with fire, if you're like me, you're learning from all these astrology masters and you go into the Zoom meeting and you're like, yo, do you understand that I'm gonna murk all of you? Don't do that. I didn't do that. This is gonna be really embarrassing if some of these Zoom people are watching. I don't give a bollocks. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I can be like more Aries in these readings. Let's see why the moon is here in your challenge. Why is the moon here in your challenge, Aries? For career, money, and life purpose from now until the end of August. Well, the, the moon in your challenge is clarified by the three of pentacles, the five of cups, and also the uh, eight of um, wands here. There's going to be some sort of communication that leads to sadness when it comes to someone that you're already existing and collaborating with. This really has to do, for, for some of you, this has to do with a lover that's hiding money from you. For some of you, this has to do with someone that you really trusted. You wanted to see the good side of them, but then in your challenge, something comes out that there's an incompatibility with the collaboration. You can no longer keep collaborating with a lover potentially, or if it's not a lover, it's just someone that you've been dealing with money, life purpose. Maybe it's a mentor. Maybe it's a, fr there's something that really quick, cause the eight of wands has to do with speed and openness. Something just really, something that was hidden from you 
you may have had an intuition that someone's hot, you know, something sketchy is going on. It comes to light. It's all out in the open here and it makes you sad here. So there's something to do with loved one and money that you need to change here. Now for others of you, when it comes to this, this really has to do Aries with use the surrender tactic. Um, because the three of pentacles has to do with you learning or teaching someone. So even if you're a teacher here, this could get very, I'm sorry. I didn't already say that's like, if you're a, teacher there could be something about like you dealing with a very arrogant student that instead of fighting with fire with fire you need to be like just let them th you know because if like let's say roles were reversed and i was like the astrologer i was like an 80 year old astrologer and like some like 25 year old kid came in and like and was like talking crap and or not even talking crap but just like had some weird energy is it really beneficial to fight that person no it's just be like let them think whatever they want about themselves so i just get in your challenge here, Aries, there could be really difficulty with you working with someone. You wanting to, you know, say all the fiery things you want to say and you don't and it makes you sad. But of course, when you use the surrender tactic, you think that feels good? Do you think that when you're in a fight and you know you're going to lose and you kind of just like surrender? That's the worst feeling in the world. I mean, you'll be like a meme on the internet. People will be like, wow, like you got choked out, you got knocked out, and you like, you quit. Like, what a, what a biatch. But then the people who try to stay in there get head damage. The next fight, they're not going to be as good. For you, you will be the next fight. After this one, you'll be good because you surrendered. But that doesn't, it doesn't feel good, but you preserve your energy. It's the smart thing to do. It's not the pride thing. Pride will get you in trouble. You got to use your brains a little bit as an Aries too, you know. So there's just an issue around collaboration. Something comes out to the open. Um, I do feel that you're moving in a completely new direction. That's the advice here, Aries. So don't be in a rush is what I'll tell you because there are going to be some very mysterious developments that come out into the open in your career. But this is the advice. Put yourself first. Start something new. Get ready to start something or like really start really deeply meditating on what am I going to start new because there is going to be a shift here no matter how you cut it with your money. Starting some side thing, etc. For those of you that are working somewhere, I actually don't see you really getting like fired, but I see things coming out into the open and in order for you to like keep your position, you may have to bite your tongue, use a surrender tactic, which you may some of you may not actually be capable of, which is okay too. Because every truth is but a half truth. All paradoxes can be reconciled. The thing about this reality is that every single thing I say in these readings, you can come up with a counter argument that will be just as believable. But the truth is, do you believe it as much as I believe what I'm saying? No. <laughs> so what do you believe though? Double that. Play on people's need to believe errors. All right. With that being said, I'm going to conclude this reading. I hope that this did not come on too strong. I probably don't think so for Aries. So with that being said, I appreciate you. Peace.